I'm going to try not to cry today. Debbie Sandberg wants to know why her 16-year-old granddaughter was left to freeze in a mall parking lot. She's suing West Edmonton Mall and the operator of this entertainment complex, alleging Jasmine Kyle's death was the result of their negligence. On a cold December night three years ago, the 16-year-old told her family she was going to a movie and sleepover with a friend. Instead of going to the movie, they actually ended up at the rec room. Surveillance video shows Jasmine leaving the rec room just before 7. She and her friends were spotted in the parking lot drinking and throwing snowballs. The last time Jasmine was on camera, she was running up the stairs chasing another girl. A half hour later, someone called the mall about an intoxicated female passed out. It was minus 10 degrees. The autopsy report states mall security did search but could not find anyone. How could they have not found her? for seven hours. It wasn't until 3 a.m. when a snowplow operator found Jasmine's body, wedged between a concrete barrier, since removed, and this cement wall. Constable Brady Dreyer and his partner were first on scene. They tried to save the teen's life. We knew that Jasmine needed help, which is why we started uh, CPR in the parking lot. They took her to a hospital in the back of the police car, but she couldn't be saved. Jasmine had a school ID, and I remember uh, seeing her smile in the photo, and she had this really nice, kind smile. I think about that whenever I think about this case. The lawsuit won't bring Jasmine back, but it may give her family some answers. It's our job to go forward and, and show that this was preventable. In an email to CBC, Cineplex offered condolences to the family. West Edmonton Mall did not respond to our requests for comment. Statements of defense have not been filed. Janice Johnson, CBC News, Edmonton.